Hey guys, welcome to another video. So, I decided to set up All About Reading, and I definitely did not anticipate how long it would take me. But let's, let's, you know, talk about this, shall we? So, before this clip, actually, I had already filmed myself setting up the little magnets, like the little tiles that you do, um, the letters and stuff with. I'm not sure where that footage went, but anyway, moving on. Uh, I had to cut up all the perforated cards. The footage of the perforated cards that you're about to see is like a few of them, like not even a quarter of them. <laughs> and throughout this entire process of me cutting up these cards, I was utterly terrified that I would end up ripping one of the cards and then I would not have like a card to use. Of course, at the end of this batch, I did realize that there were several empty cards Probably, I'm guessing, that you can, you know, make up the one that you've wrecked naturally. But I did not know that as I set off. So I was very, very nervous as I folded each page and pulled each card. I will say they did pull apart quite easily and they're, like, they're, I didn't have any issues with the cards whatsoever. But still, but still, my heart was just pounding throughout the whole process. I was very, very, very terrified. Moving on from that, uh, at this point is where I gave up on just sitting at my desk trying to do this and I went and sat with hubby and watched a movie whilst continuing cutting up the perforated cards. Moving on to the next day of me trying to set up all about reading, thinking it would take me a couple hours and finding that it took me several. <laughs> um, I started pulling out the pages. I have to say the pages, well actually no, backtracking. I love the book. The cover is just beautiful, and the book itself just felt so nice. It felt terrible having to pull it apart. It is meant to be pulled apart, however, so that's a thing. Now, as you can see here, I struggled a little at times with some of the pages. I mean, mostly it was, you know, easy sailing. Like, look at this, smooth sailing, just pulling out pages. It was all good. But there were times when the pages decided to just be downright mean to me and refused to be pulled out, and I was just... Again, terrified that I would rip something vital and then... That sounded kind of weird. Anyway, I was terrified that I would rip a page and then I would not have that page to work with. And I mean, I guess in this instance, when it came to the actual like workbook and stuff, I did have a point because if I ripped anything from these things, I would not have the activities. Where would I find them? That's not a thing. You know, they'd be like, you should have been careful not to rip your book. Anyway. It took me, like, I don't even, it took me a rather interesting amount of time to cut through all of these. And, of course, <laughs> I had, you know, uh, little interruptions and whatnot throughout the process. It took me several hours, and I will say my hand got really, really sore. But, but, on the other side of that, I'm quite happy that I did this because on one hand, I was really exhausted and have everything set up though. On the other hand, I do have my lessons prepared for me and I was able to actually look through pretty much the entire workbook. Like I went through the entire workbook because I pretty much picked up every single page and I saw the lessons, I saw how it kind of, you know, how it got more and more difficult as we moved along, the progression, just I kind of went through everything and going through the entire workbook and seeing how everything progresses, it just made me feel more confident in my choice and made me feel like, this is, this is a good choice, we got this. You know, like it's, it's okay, <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Because I will admit, like throughout the process of choosing curriculum and you know, changing curriculum, especially when you've already made a choice and you've kind of stuck with it for a while, I think that fear just kind of stays with you and the fact that I decided to switch and I decided to take a step back when it came to All About Reading, it just, you know. So this this was an extra little kind of confidence boost, so to speak, where I felt pretty good as I moved through all of these pages and cut everything up and put them in their little, um, you know, separate little page protectors. Yes, page protectors. My brain froze for a moment there. Um, yeah, it, it actually felt really good because going through everything, they're just so colorful, so fun, so hands-on, I have to say I am beyond, beyond happy with it. And now what I did over here, you're probably noticing there's a pink folder there that looks kind of small. Um, I did have two ring binders that I already had on hand and I did order a larger one, which you will see later on in the video, like the classic lar large white one um, that everyone uses. Again, the page. <laughs> anyway, 
Um, these pages do not want to come out. I did end up ripping one, and I'm, I'm like, started, you know, changing topic here, but I know. But I did end up ripping a couple of pages. <laughs> not, not like, uh, just like one of, the, one of the ones that were like practice reading or something. Nothing vital, but still, uh, it happened. It happened. My fear did come to fruition at one point. Moving on, I used a couple of smaller ring binders that I had on hand to start this whole process because if I was waiting until the white one arrived, I would never get started. So I decided to just kind of get started with what I had and then transfer them over to the other folder so they're all together once I got that. So that's why you're noticing, uh, you'll see later on in the video, it becomes a yellow folder. <laughs> um, and yeah, I did watch a whole bunch of videos and just kind of catch up on some YouTube videos I wanted to watch whilst I did this. It's kind of like the best thing for me when I want to watch something. I can't just sit and watch it. I need to do something with my hands. So this kind of gave me that opportunity and uh, I definitely took it. Now, as I was saying, I love everything about this this curriculum. I have to say, I'm, I was just really, really happy with it, especially what I'm about to start cutting up now, which is like these little flip books. Um, yeah, that's hubby needing something from me. <laughs> um, interruptions. I had multiple interruptions. Moving on. Uh, these flip books, I have to say, probably one of my favorite thing. Um, the girls even came in and started reading some of them as I was setting them up. It just, again, more proof that it is a good choice, and I am beyond happy about that. That's all I have to say about that. I continued cutting now. Pay attention to the light if you want. The light changed. The time went by. It's like... <laughs> it, it took a while. My hand definitely, definitely got sore after a point. I was like holding the scissors in like a weird way because the areas where like, you know, my fingers were touching the scissors were just not having it. Um, yeah. Yeah, and I have cut quite a few things in my time, you know, being a preschool teacher and whatnot. So this, this was fun. You know, I, I, I guess technically I did enjoy it in a weird way, but at the same time, it was so much work. However, however, I definitely will say 100% you need to set up and prep your All About Reading. There is so many, like, there's so many things that you need to prep for each lesson that if I had to do this on a given day, a given morning, a given like the beginning of the week even. I think if I was running out of time for whatever reason, if something popped up, if something happened, the stress of having to set this up for the week or for the day would kill me. <laughs> so having said that, I am more than happy that I put myself through several hours of torment, cutting each and every one of these pages and setting it all up because it gonna make my life easier. And that is, that is what we are here about, you know, it's what we're doing. And I'm very happy that I decided to set it up, <laughs> despite, despite how long it took. Um, but yeah, and again, I'm just, I'm just generally happy with my choice in All About Reading. The fear with, you know, changing curriculums and whatnot, it, uh, it can get to you. Also, have, has anyone counted how many times I've been interrupted? Because seriously, I feel like I've been interrupted like a bazillion times. And there are also a whole bunch of clips that I cut out of me getting up from my chair and actually having to go and do stuff and then come back and sit down. Um, there was like a whole five minute clip at one point in my footage where I just vanished from sight. And I was like, okay, <laughs> that's great. Um, yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess I'm a mom and that just, it was, it happens, it happens. Look at me struggling with the the pages because uh, it was a point where I was just like trying to tug and tug and tug and the perforation was not not doing me any favors at all at all but yeah anyway uh moving on <laughs> the whole process I think took me I don't know maybe a total of five hours over the course of two days technically I mean one day uh it took me one day and like I would say a couple hours to do the cards and the magnets and then it took me definitely two days to finish the rest of this. Um, it was just like a lot of a lot of just pulling out pages, cutting, pulling out pages, cutting. I think I did like five lessons per session of cutting, <laughs> if I can call it that anyway. Um, and it was, yeah, I was trying to stay organized. I was trying to move as fast and efficiently as possible. And at the same time, I was also trying to avoid cutting anything important because 
you know, there's one thing where you're scared of like pulling out the perforated pages and then there's also what happens if you cut something too much and cut into something and <gasps> can you tell I have a sense of anxiety around homeschool? Yeah. It's it's a thing, you know, when you're trying to set up curriculum and you're trying to make it as, as good as possible, it it happens. It happens. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, um, I'll probably add some music at this point. I don't know. Should I? Should I not? Do you, would you guys get bored hearing my voice while we set up all about reading? I mean, you know, look at these eggs. These eggs, when I looked through the book and I saw, like, my eyes just automatically fell on these eggs. I was like, what on earth are we, you know? But they have so many fun hands-on activities and I think that's what makes this curriculum so special is that you do have like the reading and the word practice and the cards that you read from and the cards make it kind of more interactive as well I will say but then you have these fun little activities and it is colorful now I believe it used to not be colorful which I'm kind of like bamboozled by because I, I don't understand how that would work like what, what, what would these eggs look like I don't know it's yeah anyway it used to not be colored so I'm kind of glad that it is colored and again here one of the girls came to show me something and I had to do something while simultaneously cutting paper eggs because that's just how it goes I guess but yeah so I really really enjoyed the color and the interactiveness and the hands-on activities and just how it makes you kind of move and actively do things and it's not just oh, okay sit down look at these pages and just Go for it you know just read um it's fun and it, and it keeps you from getting tired and bored and frustrated and it's it, it does a lot of things it switches between a lot of things and i am feeling feeling really good about it right now again i will probably do a proper update on this at the end of the month like a september update i guess or something like that you know um because honestly honestly it was fun setting it up and it took me forever, but I'm glad because I feel good about it. And I am hoping that my end of month update will be a good one, telling you guys how we have done amazingly with it. And I'm glad that I made the choice to switch and to take a step back and to do this. Anyway, as I was saying before, I set all of this up into folders. I don't even know if the yellow folder made it into the footage, because honestly, I was not, I, I did not film the whole thing. Like this video is like a 14 minute video and it does not have all of the footage of me pulling out and cutting every single page because it would be ginormous, <laughs> ginormous. Um, I don't know if the yellow folder made it into the video, but look, like, I mean, the pink one is finishing right now and we are at 13 minutes. So maybe, maybe not. Maybe it wasn't that fortunate. Who knows? I don't remember. But at the end of the day, okay, yeah, no, it did. Okay, I have already corrected myself. So you did see the yellow one though. So there were two folders. I had half and half of it in each of them. And I went ahead. I also cut up the cover that was left because it was just so beautiful. Look at that cover. It was just so beautiful. And I felt so, so terrible pulling the book apart and leaving the cover to just not do a thing, like not be a cover basically. So I cut it up and put it in. Now I did try to put them all like a bigger batch. Look at this, I'm just struggling. I did try to put a bigger batch and it just, it was refusing to do it. I was like, what on earth? So I ended up having to put literally each one, one by one, each page protector over the rings to get it into the binder. I did it, I accomplished the task, but seriously, <laughs> I was kind of hoping that that would be at least a bit faster. It wasn't, it wasn't. So I had to pull all the pages out and then kind of slowly and carefully put each one in. I, I don't know why, they all fit in perfectly. So I'm not sure what happened when I kind of tried to bunch them together. Maybe they just didn't bend properly or something. I don't know. Anyway, I transferred them all into this lovely little folder and yeah, that's pretty much all about reading, guys. I, I set it up, I survived. Fun times. And now let's, let's use it and see how we go. <laughs> Bye guys.